Hey, what's up, guys? Back here from Noah Bay. This is gonna be my entire movie collection. And then after I get done doing my movies, I'm gonna do my TV shows. So starting first one is Reality Bites. I've never seen this movie, but I heard it was pretty good. Then we got one National Lampoon's TV, the movie. I actually got this for one of my friends. Pontiac Moon. This was actually a pretty good movie. I really enjoyed this one. This one came out in 1995. Ted Danson in here. Then we got Emperor's New Groove. I absolutely love this movie. I remember watching it so much when I come out and I've never actually seen the sequel but love this movie. Then we got The House Bunny. It's actually been a while since I watched this movie so I can't quite remember too too much about it. But I remember, I remember it was pretty funny. My friend Nick actually likes that movie. Then we got Drillbit Taylor. Um, this is pretty much about Owen Wilson's character. He pretty much goes to the school because these kids are getting bullied. And then he finds out one of the kids is like 18. He's like, he's 18. And he pretty much like kicks the shit out of him. So it's a pretty funny movie. It came out in 2008. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this movie. Then we got The Fifth Element. Then we got Accept It. Um, it's pretty much about these kids that make up their own college. And it's got Jonah Hill right there. This was pretty funny. Then we got Failure to Launch with Matthew McConaughey and Sarah and Jessica Parker. I think this is pretty much about um, his character. He's, he lives at home and he doesn't want to move out. So they, they pretty much hire her to like have a relationship with him or something. So he can move out the house or something. It's Like I said, it's been a while since I watched it. But I remember enjoying it. Then we got Steven Seagal, triple feature. This is Belly of the Beast, Black Down, and Half Past Dead. There's the first movie. And there's the second movie. The, the other movie is under this one. I don't know why they just couldn't put another thing there, put another movie there, but anyway. Then we got National Lampoon's Pledge This, the naughty version. I don't think I ever watched this one yet, but when I do, I'll be sure to uh, make a review or put into what I watch. I don't think I ever watched this one. It's got Paris Hilton into it too, so. Then we got a movie that I've had for years and years and years. My friend keeps telling me I need to watch I need to watch it. Well, I finally did, and I'm actually kicking myself for taking so long to watch it because it was such a good movie. This was Ben Affleck, and that is... Daredevil. Really good action movie. Then we got Mr. Mr. Magoo Mr. Magoo Wonders Emporium. Got Dustin Hoffman and Nally and Portman. Then we got one that my friends actually seen in theaters. They said that they loved it, but I've never actually seen it. And that Blades of Glory. Pretty much about a figure skating team. Then we got this Eminem All Access in Europe. I watched this a few times. This came out in 2002. It's been a while since I watched it, but... I don't think it tells you how long it how long it even is. It doesn't say. Then we got one with Tom Cruise. This is War of the Worlds. I never seen this one, but get got to get around to checking it out. Then we got one with Bill Murray, Bill Murray, if I can say it, and that is Get Low. And if you see any of these movies, please comment down below and let me know what you think of them. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. They've got one with Johnny Depp, and that is Sweeney Todd. 
This is another one that I never got a chance to actually check out. This one came out in 2007. They got one with Jack Black and Kyle Glass or something like that. But yeah, I remember seeing this cover for this movie. I always was interested to what it was. I've seen people's videos and stuff. And then we got The Hangover Part 3. I actually had the first two on Blu-ray. And I've never actually seen this one, so... I gotta get around to checking it out. What I might do is I might actually watch the first two again. Then we got X Moxica, Moxica. I think I said that right. Then we got one called Edge of Winter. This looks like a pretty cool movie. Then we got The Fighter with Christian Burial and Mark, Mark Wahlberg and Amy Adams. In a boxing movie. This is a movie that a lot of people didn't like when it came out, but I actually enjoyed it for what it was. And that is Don't Mess with the Zohan. This is, Adam, this is one of Adam Sandler's fun, funny movies. Oh, I like that one. It's been a while since I watched it, but I remember liking it. My friend actually had this movie, but he actually sent it to me because he found it was kind of boring. And... It is a uh, she devil. So it got Roseanne Bar R Roseanne Barr into it, and Meryl Streep. So you know, you can't go wrong. And for the last one, for this one, is this one right here, Assault on Priest thir Thirteen. I've never seen the original one, and I haven't never seen this one, so. So that is the end of part one. See you guys in part two.